Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to their Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video. In today's video, we are going to be honing in and talking about the Maddox Assault Rifle, which is the last unlocked assault rifle, but more specifically because I've talked about this weapon a lot, I really do think this is the best gun in the game, but today's video is in specific and basically what I'm going to be doing is going through all of the popular weapons that I like, testing out or getting even more experience because I have used most of the operator mods in the game by now, but I want to get gameplays, get more experience and sort of design class ups around operator mods because the thing with operator mods is they're good but they're heavily costly and the one with the echo fire on the Maddox is actually really really cool and we're going to talk about it today and teach you guys how to build a class up around it and why I think it's good and what scenarios to use it so drop a like on this thing smash that like button I really really appreciate the support you guys have been killing it this is a late night Sunday upload so um, I just appreciate if you guys are watching this to drop a like on it subscribe to the channel if you guys are new as well I do appreciate all the new subscribers and let's talk about it so the Maddox basically I do believe it's the best overall gun. It's just a gun with a really, really wicked fire rate and practically no recoil. The recoil on it, I mean, it does have a little bit of recoil. Actually, it's pretty much vertical. So, Echo Fire is the operator mod. Now, on the on the operator mods, they're usually available on most weapons, I think, or maybe about half the weapons. But on the ARs, the ICR, the KN, and the Rampart have no... Um, they have basically zero, no operator mod available on them. Um, and then the Vapor's operator mod is sort of like a bayonet knife in it. So it doesn't really affect the gun too much. It sort of affects the way you play around the class setup completely. And of course, being able to knife people at close range is nice. But the Maddox FRB has the Echo Fire. And what Echo Fire does is firing blowback system shoots each other bullet at an increased rate of fire. So it sort of turns this weapon from a fully automatic high fire rate weapon to a weapon that it's not a burst weapon. Weapon, it's just instead of shooting like you know a steady fire rate, it goes instead of boop 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 That's how the echo fire works versus the main gun. My sound effects are on point. Drop a like for that. That was kind of funny. But you guys get the message, right? Basically, you you hold down the trigger. And the first time I used this this gun in this setup, I was actually struggling. I was trying to tap the the trigger, trying to use it like a burst gun, and I was like, wow, this gun's garbage. You know, it's not a really good burst gun. But then I realized you don't play this gun like a burst. You play it like a fully auto. You hold the trigger down and you let the echo fire go. And with the echo fire, it, it, it has some positives and some negatives to it. The first thing is with the echo fire, this gun has a 0.37 second time to kill, which is just ridiculous if you think about it. It's the fastest time to kill out of any of the assault rifles and a faster time to kill than any of the SMGs except the Spitfire basically and that's with running this Echo Fire so it's absolutely insane your your time to kill you can see me when I fight people up close range it's an instant deletion of people close range now the that's the positive around it what are the negatives around running the Echo Fire the first negative is there's a negative around running any sort of operator mod which is the fact that it costs three points it costs you um, two points to throw on the operator mod wild card and then one to actually use the uh, the actual operator mod on that weapon. So it's three points in total, which is a lot more than what you would use to run a wild card and a perk, which would be two, to run a primary gunfire and a third attachment uh, would be two. But I think it is worth it on certain guns. And I think that... Will I use the Echo Fire on every single Maddox class? No, I'll probably use it on some, but I still love this gun fully auto. This gun's a god gun either way. But what the Echo Fire is and what it's good for is you're basically sacrificing your long range efficiency for the ability to have the time to kill of an absolute god. This is this is the god gun straight up. You can delete people up close and you guys can watch me do it. Now, uh, in this gameplay where I drop like, I think like 80 something kills here. Uh, the problem with long range is because the gun is firing so rapidly, and like I talk about with the Maddox there's no grip available on this gun and it usually doesn't have too much recoil it's pretty much just straight vertical recoil which means it just goes straight up in the air but when you're using the echo fire and the bullets are firing even faster than the already insane fire rate of this weapon uh, which the fire rate of this weapon is already 746 it becomes 814 with echo fire so at 814 rounds per minute this this gun shoots faster than the cordite without rapid fire with this echo fire mod which is absolutely crazy and you basically sacrifice you know you can kill people up close extra fast but your your game at range is a lot weaker and the reason is because if you hold this thing down which i recommend doing the recoil shoots up so damn fast once your fire rate is uh, enhanced sort of like rapid fire but even more because of the way that the the firing blowback system or whatever they call it on this gun works and you are losing uh, you know sort of some sort of game at range but what i recommend doing and what i do is this 
the, this gun is very, it's probably my favorite gun in the game as of right now. Um, the Vapor used to be my favorite gun, but now the Maddox, I'm just, I'm loving it after the Vapor and ICR got hit with the nerf. Um, and the good thing about this is, like I said, you can wipe people out with it up close and do heavy damage. And at range, what I recommend doing is because the recoil is straight up, straight up vertical, pretty much very predictable as i'm shooting and as the recoil is going i'm always holding down the trigger on this weapon but on shots at medium to long range i'm going to be pulling down on my right thumbstick as i'm shooting which sort of counteracts the recoil if the recoil is naturally working vertical but i'm pulling against it it's sort of counteracting the recoil and it is sort of helping me with that so that's something that i would recommend doing you can practice this just by playing the game by playing in a private match or whatever and it's it's a method that i think i used it like on previous cards and it was super duper effective but it's even more effective on this game because of the predictable recoil basically if you go into private match and you practice these guns that have a tad bit of recoil knock down their patterns you can be an absolute god and i think that this gun with the rate of fire is just absolutely insane the one tip i recommend is hold this thing down use it at close range and at long range make sure you're sort of pulling down and counteracting against the recoil which is a major major key to do with this uh weapon now i do think the echo fire is good and i really do think it's worth the three points not maybe on every class setup but on a map where a lot of your gunfights are going to be close range engagements maybe on arsenal or on a map like payload which i actually really like payload which is weird because when i first saw this map in the beta i didn't think i was going to like it but i really really do like this uh this uh map but anyway the class setup i use because i know you guys all know my normal maddox class setup but i want to give you guys the class setup i use with the echo fire now uh the setup that i use of course is the weapon with the echo fire and because it takes up so many points in the pick 10 system with the operator mod i slap an elo sight on this gun um, I, I'm just used to ELO on this gun. Maybe if you have a reflex, maybe the recoil is a little bit less because ELO, of course, has a little more recoil than, uh, well, at least after the patch. I don't know exactly how they match up. Um, but then I run one extra attachment. So ELO, Operator Mod, and then my extra attachment is Stock, which is another beautiful thing about this gun is it's not a burst gun and it sort of performs the opposite of a burst because it's, it's sort of like a close range melting machine. And having that Stock, of course, helps you in close range gunfights where you need to strafe and even at more medium or long range gunfights sure you could run fast mags on this gun which could be helpful but it already has a fairly quick reload time um as far as just the weapon itself and sure you could also run um quick draw but that will enhance your ads time by very very minimal amounts compared to what stock will do for your strafing and especially after the recent nerfs affecting the abr stock affecting the titan stock affecting all of the assault rifle strafe speed i find that using an ar that contains stock on it can be such a huge advantage and you can outgun people even using a gun that's overpowered and super strong like the icr you can really outplay them by using something like this i mean this is literally one of the fastest time to kill guns in the game and that's what you can use so that's what i run as far as the gun um and then i run comsec device which if you guys are interested in why i've been rocking comsec device a little bit i still love acoustic i still love stim shot but comsec is just it makes it 950 points to get my my uh, helicopter and in this game i was running double helicopter which was the sniper's nest and then the helicopter um, and then the strike team. So it only takes 900 points to get that first sniper's nest. And honestly, dude, sniper's nest might be an underrated, it's definitely an underrated streak. People sort of forget about it because it's not as loud as the chopper and they can just pick people off on an open map. Um, the only problem with it is that, and I think this was put into the game on purpose so that you couldn't, you know, the, the, the setup that I'm using right now, which is the double heli strike team, it's not as effective because you can't have both helis up at once, but it is still good because it sort of gives me streaks to recall in throughout the whole game. Game and it keeps the pressure up and you can see here i wasn't really worrying about the objective play but then once the score got close i, I you know call in my air support kill streaks call in my strike teams and then i'm able to go ham and play uh, on the objectives as far as perks you guys probably want to know perks on this class setup as well um the perks on this setup are the standard perks i run on the maddox which is just attack mask gung-ho and then dead silence i think all of those are important on this setup i run dead silence for two reasons number one it's nice to have dead silence with acoustic even though i don't have acoustic on here it still counters the enemy's acoustic plus it allows me to hear footsteps occasionally i can hear a footstep uh, of an enemy without dead silence even without acoustic get some kills like that and then uh attack mask gung-ho dead silence yeah gung-ho definitely up close getting your gun up fast especially like i think it goes great with quick draw as a combo but at the same time when you don't have quick draw you kind of need gung-ho as i 
know, some people might say a crutch perk, but is it really even a crutch perk if everyone in the damn game is using it? You can see here I hop on the objective towards the late game, um, have a couple streaks up, have them in their spawn, and I'm easily able to pull out, well, not really easily, but we pull the victory uh, as well as dropping a high, or not even high, what was it, like 82 kills? Something pretty nice. Echo Fire is an insane mod, and both are great. This is definitely the better way to use the Maddox at close range, but Echo Fire is definitely going to lose at long range engagements, and that's sort of the trade-off you take with it. I do think this is still a god gun. I think it's a god gun in any way you play it. Thanks for watching, guys. Drop a like on this thing. Subscribe if you guys are new. Have an absolutely fantastic evening, and that's about it, guys. Peace out. I'm out. Peace.